Hey guys, welcome back to yet another YouTube video. Um, I'm Goose, and today we're going to be doing a bit of a more um, old style video, I guess you could say, uh, Call of Duty commentary. I haven't done one of these in a bit. Um, but if you guys do want more videos like these, uh, leave a like and subscribe. Hope you enjoy the video. Now, let me just get this out of the way. The main problem with Cold War right now is the skill-based matchmaking. Now, I'm not going to go too much into detail because literally every Call of Duty YouTuber has touched on this and talked about this. So, when I, what I'm going to describe is going to be nothing new, so I'm just not even going to do it. Um, but today I'm going to be talking about what actually made Call of Duty good and enjoyable and why I don't like the new one. Now, I started playing Call of Duty for the first time around, I'd say 2013, so that's when Black Ops 2 was really popular and Ghost had just came out. Um, I'd say my kind of highlight of the, the old days I'd consider is Black Ops 2 to um, Black Ops 3 because um, we all know what came after Black Ops 3. Now, what I remember back from those days was me getting home, going over to my friend's house because he was older and actually could play Call of Duty because my parents wouldn't let me. So I'd go over to his house, play Call of Duty without my parents knowing, just staying up completely all night, just having the time of my life. It was fun. Um, I remember he, since he was like, you know, good at the game, uh, he would play while I was on the mic just trash talking. Like, j just imagine like you're some 20 year old, you know, you just got done working and you get on the game and you see some eight-year-old trash talking you doing better than you it, it was it was great i just great times um but what i loved about call of duty back then was you could just get home from work school or whatever you're doing and just get on and play and enjoy the game you didn't have to go full try hard or sweat or act like a pro player you could just sit down play with even with some friends or alone and just enjoy the game and um, it was just really fun. Now, I know Ghost was not the best Call of Duty. Um, n not everybody definitely liked it, but um, I actually enjoyed it. I'm one of those people who enjoys Ghost. Please don't shoot me. Um, but with Cold War, now, it's the most arcadey Call of Duty we've had in recent years compared to, I'd say, Modern Warfare. Um, but it's also apparently had the lowest sales on release for Call of Duty in years. And, um, I didn't believe it at first because I thought, oh, I mean, I thought, I thought a lot of people like Cold War. And I think I know what the main problem is. With Modern Warfare, we saw a huge just shift in tone for Call of Duty and the Call of Duty player base. And it just got so much sweatier because in Modern Warfare or the 2019 version, Skill-based matchmaking, I wouldn't say it was introduced, but it was just amped up so much. So, basically, the problem is there's no ranking system in Call of Duty Modern Warfare or Cold War. Therefore, skill-based matchmaking is just put into every mode aside from Warzone. And that's a problem, dude. Skill-based matchmaking is in... Um, games like Rainbow Six Siege, but what Rainbow Six Siege does is there is three different main modes, excluding the special events. Uh, you have Casual, which I'm pretty sure has no uh, skill-based matchmaking. Unranked, which has a little skill-based matchmaking, but not as much as Ranked, which is just complete skill-based matchmaking. But you actually get ranked and rewarded for this. It but the problem with Call of Duty is there's everything is skill-based matchmaking. There is no casual playlist. Everything is just sweaty. And the problem with Cold War is... Now, I'm not going to say I'm the best player. I'm, I'm decent. But the problem is, one game I'll be doing... You know what? Hey, dude, I'm, I got I got play the game. I was on top. I was doing the best. I mean, I'm, I didn't get a nuke or anything. But I did pretty good. Next game... What? Well, what is this? Everybody's third prestige and up? What? And it's just like you do good one or two games and then bam you're put into a sweaty lobby and it's just really hard to play sometimes and I think the problem with Call of Duty today and the reason it didn't sell that much is because people who played Call of Duty back then and enjoyed it back then started to realize that it was just really sweaty and it wasn't the game they bought years ago it wasn't the game they wanted to play people would buy Call of Duty year after year because 
it was the most casual and just sit down and have fun game out there. Like, but now it's just trying to be the next competitive game, like Rainbow Six Siege or Volorant, but it, it just, it doesn't have a place for casual players anymore. Sure, there is definitely a competitive and esports side to Call of Duty, always have has been, and matter of fact, I think Call of Duty, in my opinion, made esports what it is today, but there also needs to be a place for the casual player. And it just isn't there. And it is just horrible. For example, pro players are having a 2.0 KD. Now, in other games, it might sound cool, but in Call of Duty, pros should not have a 2.0 KD. They should have higher. And another problem is reverse boosting. I'm not even going to get into that. But the problem is skill based matchmaking. It needs to be removed in order for Call of Duty to be good again, in my opinion. Now, Warzone, to my knowledge, I could be wrong, has almost no skill-based matchmaking. And I'm pretty sure that is why everybody loved Warzone, because anything could happen. You could get any players. And that's why people like Call of Duty, dude. You don't know what to expect. You can just sit down, play, have fun, trash talk. But not anymore. Call of Duty has changed. And it, really, it, I, th I think it's actually hurting the game. I I'm all for change, but... When there's change that just isn't necessary, why fix it if it isn't broke? And also, um, all the people who've hit puberty are now getting bullied by children. Come on, dude, you're on Xbox. Like, you're that sensitive by some kid who called you trash? Grow the fuck up.